Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we're going to look at a faulty Mortal Kombat 2 for the Mega Drive. Let's take a look. Okay, so I bought this version of Mortal Kombat 2 a while back at a boot sale. I picked up a Mega Drive and a load of games for, I think it was about £30. But all of it was beaten up and disgusting and I think a lot of it was ex-rental from a, a video store up the valleys. Um, so it wasn't the best looked after. The case is pretty beaten up. Tears in the back of it and one of those cases that you wouldn't want to normally put on display and the cartridge I have tried before and it didn't work um, so what I'm going to do today is clean it up and give it a go hopefully we can get it working up and running um, if not we'll take it apart and see what we can do if there's any issues in the inside of it as well um, it's one of those things that I probably should have left the bundle behind at the boot sale but it was one of those quiet days where you're not picking anything up and any kind of retro games that you find on a boot sale is something at that point. I don't come across much of the boot sales anyway, so when you do find Mega Drive games in, I think I bought about a stack of like 15 games and a, and a Mega Drive. Um, it wasn't a bad price, but they were all beaten up, so um, I'll see if I can find a photo and put it over the top now of when I picked them up. Um, you'll see that most of them are common games, there's a couple of nice ones in there like Superman and things like that, but generally just common everyday Mega Drive games. So let's clean this up. Have a look at it, see what we can do. I'm not willing to put it back onto the console. I did put it in originally without cleaning it, which is a bit of a stupid mistake. I always like to clean my cartridges first. Um, but I'm gonna try and clean it up first. Then I'll test it in the Mega Drive. If that works, then we'll get on to having a look at the label and the box and everything else. If not, I'll probably take the cart apart and have a look what's inside as well. So let's take a look. Okay then, let's take a look. So cartridge is disgusting so it's smoky yellow I don't know whether we're gonna ever be able to clean this up the labels don't clean up very well so I might look if I can get a replacement label I don't know whether anyone's got any suggestions where I can get replacement labels but please drop me a message if you do because I'm always looking for replacements because I've got quite a few games which are disgusting like this so let's have a look inside let's see if I can get this on an angle that you can see some of the pins so I can see a bit yeah there is a lot of pins in there which are green and looking a bit disgusting so I'm guessing that is why it's not working okay so the first thing I'm going to do is get some of our trusty 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol get a q-tip I'm going to dip one end in the q-tip into the alcohol keep the other end dry to clean it all off with and give that a clean so let's give that a go I'm literally just cleaning the surface of these pins where I can see that it's got some corrosion on it. Okay, so this is my favourite Mega Drive for testing things out on it. It's a Mega Drive 2, pretty reliable, um, but it saves me messing up my Mega Drive 1s and other things as well. Um, I've got a couple of these knocking around, so at least I can test it on this. If the contacts inside get dirty, then I can clean them up and keep it going, but it's not my main Mega Drive for playing on anyway, so that's not a problem. So let's pop the cartridge in, power on the console. and nothing on screen. This is what we were getting before. Okay, so turn it off and I'll put it back in a couple of times. Oh, there we go. So it's working now. Okay, so we only got the, the licensing come up then it stopped again. So I do think there's something more up with this cartridge. See if it comes up again. Nah, nothing. Okay, so time to take this cartridge apart. Have a look inside, see what else is needs cleaning up and tidying up, if there's any other damage in there, and then go from there. Okay, so let's open this up. We've got the two screws on here. I'll just use the Torx bit on these. Um, it's a generally acclaimed card, so it's 
genuine product so it's not like it's a bootleg and that would be the issue with it so that one's a little bit rusty and the paint has come off the top of them so i think somebody may have been inside here before but we'll find out in a minute what it's like so the two screws out the way let's take a look okay um i don't know whether that's hopefully you can see that on the camera there's some kind of splatters through here uh not too bad but it looks like something has been in here whether it's mold and it's just been kept in the cold and a little bit moldy um or whether it has had any kind of water damage before i don't know a lot of the things i'm seeing these days is either water damage or batteries so generally these consoles and these cartridges last for ages um a couple of capacitors go on them and things like that but nothing major and otherwise they'll keep going so the back of the board yeah not bad looking pretty clean uh solder points are looking nice nice and shiny so yeah i'm pretty happy with that i'll clean these contacts up again just to make sure nothing's burnt out or looking dodgy at all there other side on the front yeah those connectors that we cleaned up when the cart was in piece one piece is yeah they could do with a little bit more of a clean there's still a bit of grub on the ends of them so i'll clean those up the chips have got again they've got some kind of splatter i'm guessing it's damp that it's had in there at some point and it looks a little bit moldy but i'll clean it all up with alcohol anyway and see what we can do and i'll clean the case with some uh washing up liquid in a little bit as well okay so the board's not looking too bad uh inside of the front cover yeah there's loads of splatters on this again i when i don't know whether it's been wet or something got in here it's not in the best condition and it's yeah it's coming off so it's it's not like it's acid or something else in there it's it's literally just surface so i'm guessing it's mold which is a bit gross because you don't know where this has been and i'm touching it with my hands without any gloves on but anyway let's give it all a clean tidy it up and see if we can get any life out of it Okay, so we're all clean. I've cleaned both sides of the board, I've cleaned up the pins. Uh, everything's looking a lot nicer than it was before. Um, although, I'm saying it's looking a lot nicer, it wasn't in bad condition. I've seen cards working and in much worse condition than this. So I'm going to give this a go now. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to clean these pins even a, even further. Um, maybe with a, an eraser, a pencil rubber, and clean that up. If I can't get it to do it on that, then final thing before I look at anything else is going to be a tiny little bit of wet and dry sandpaper just to clean them off and make them really shiny. Last thing I'm going to do. All right, probably not. Don't keep holding them like that because you've got greasy fingers as well. So I'm going to clean that again before I put it in a console. So me being an idiot, grabbing it by the chip, but grabbing it by the pins, that's not a good sign. Don't do that when you clean your carts. Bloody idiot. All right, let me get back onto it. Okay, cart going straight into the Mega Drive this time. No case on it. Let's give this one a go. See what we can get going. Okay, so now we've got licensing and Sega. There we go. So all the needs is a really good clean. So hopefully this will play now. Give it a little bit of sound before we cut off. This is a 50 hertz Mega Drive, so I'm wondering whether to mod it and see if there's any difference in the speed on it when it's 60 hertz. Look at that. Okay, so as you can see behind me, I got Mortal Kombat 2 up and running. So it did just need a real good clean, whether it was the contact or just the board inside needed the clean. Um, it's all up and running now. 
I'm going to take that case inside, clean it with some soapy water, dry that off, rebuild that cartridge, and then have a look online see if I can find a, a new label for it because that would be really nice. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty chuffed with that so far. So it did just need a clean, nothing majorly wrong with it. Again, as I keep saying, battery issues, uh, water damage, dirty contacts is everything that I'm seeing at the moment. Every piece of dodgy stuff that I'm picking up from the boot sales always got water or battery issues on there. So um, they're fairly easy fixes. So just get on with it, clean it up, open it up. Don't be scared to buy something that's faulty on eBay or faulty when you're picking it up in a boot sale. Um, get it for a good price, of course, just in case it isn't just that. Um, but yeah, give it a go. This one's working. I'll probably have a look through my other cards, see if I've got anything, anything else that wasn't working and give them a clean up too. But yeah, pretty chuffed. Okay, so I'm going to soak that one in there, because that's the back cover. You don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to soak this one in there, because I do want to keep this label on here for now, until I can get a replacement. Okay, so that one's clean. This one we can clean inside and out quite quickly. Okay, so the cartridge is looking nice and clean now. That label's gonna bug the hell out of me, so I need to get a replacement on that. Um, but the other thing that I wanna do before I put it back together, these two little screws. So they had been discolored on them somehow. I don't know whether they've been scratched and tried to be open before. There was a little bit of rust on that one as well. Can you see that? Maybe, maybe not. Um, so these two screws, I wanna give them a clean up. So what I'm gonna do is get a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna get my exacto knife and pump two little holes into this put my screws into there and I'm gonna go and spray these now I got some black spray that I've had knocking around for ages Halford's gloss black spray paint it's been hanging around for ages so who knows what quality is like but we're gonna give these a, a little bit of a coat in let's take a look okay so I'm out the garden it's the first dry day we've had in ages I'm going to give these a little bit of a coat just to give them a clean up. Okay, so I'm going to leave them to dry now and then I'm going to build the cartridge back up. Okay, so that's up and running, pretty chuffed, got those screws into the back of it now so they're knocking nice and clean. I just need to get a new label for this now, and I could look into how I can print one and do it on like a nice photo glossy paper, but I don't know if I can be bothered getting the artwork and doing it all, but it may be an option if I can't find one online. So if you do know anyone that's selling labels, let me know, because I desperately need one for this, I need one for another couple of carts as well, so um, give me a shout and let me know in the comments or message me on instagram or something else but yeah cool okay thanks for watching guys hope that was a use to somebody if you've got any questions about cleaning up carts always give them a clean before you use them it saves getting all that crap into your console in the first place um but this one cleaned up quite nicely i was pretty chuffed because i knew that there was no output on this previously so um yeah getting it up and running is reliable now i've taken it out plugged it in a couple of times and it's working lovely so yeah great the only thing i'm missing for mortal kombat 2 now is a six button controller so i need to buy one of them somewhere um, I got loads and loads of Mega Drive controllers, but no six buttons. So, and I keep an eye out for one of them as well. 
all right thanks for watching guys give this video a like subscribe comment all the other things um catch you soon